What's going on guys? Welcome back to Craniac Gaming and we're back with the first game of the Titans ESPN NFL 2K5 franchise and we're taking on the Miami Dolphins to start off the series. Uh, the Dolphins this year, they don't really have the best offense in the world, but they do have Ricky Williams still at running back and defensively they have a bunch of dogs in their team. They still have Zach Thomas, Jason Taylor, Patrick Sertain, just to name a few guys. So this is not going to be an easy game by any means of the imagination, but as long as we have number nine at quarterback, you never know what could happen. See Vera McNair, of course, the legend. We're going to get right into the gameplay. The Dolphins are going to start off the ball. First and 10, handoff to Ricky Williams. And Williams is going to get a really good gain just shy of the first down marker, about nine yards. It's going to bring up a second and in inches. And Williams is going to get the first down and more here. He's actually going to get into Tennessee territory before he's pushed out of bounds. So a good run there. Now the Dolphins facing a second and 10. A.J. Feely going to roll to the left side. And Peter Sermon should have had that interception there. But instead, down the right sideline is David Boston. Good gain for him there. New set of downs for the Dolphins. Now they have a second and goal. Feely going to hand it off to Ricky Williams. And he's going to go in untouched for a quick touchdown. And the Dolphins take an early 7-0 lead. Now it's our turn. Here's Steve McNair rolling out to his right. And the throw across his body. Daryl Hill can't make the grab there, unfortunately. So now we face the second down. We're going to give the ball to Eddie George on the toss play. And George actually going to get a pretty good gain here. Picks up about five on the play. Now we face the third and five. We got McNair in the shotgun. He's going to drop back. Throw over the middle. He's going to find Derek Mason for the first down. So a good pitch and catch there. Now we face in a third and nine. McNair alone in the shotgun. He's going to find Aaron Kenny, the tight end, for the first down. But now we face another third and nine. McNair in the shotgun again. And this time he can't get rid of the ball. Tim Bones is going to bring him down for the sack. And we have to punt it away, unfortunately. So here's a third and six for the Dolphins. Feely over the middle. Can't find his intended target. It's going to fall to the ground. And the Dolphins go three and out. So now we get the ball back with under a minute to go in the first. McNair over the middle to Derek Mason. Mason going to fall just a yard short. Then we're actually going to go for it on fourth down. And honestly, Eddie George, in my mind, has the first down. They rule that he's short and it's a turnover on downs. But I challenge it because there's just no way to me that this is not a first down. You're going to look at the replay. The ball breaks the plane, like, very clearly before his knee hits the ground. All right. As you can see, like the ball is in his left arm. He definitely got across the line, the first down marker, before his knee hit the ground. But the play stands. I mean, you just can't win for losing with any of these football games. But, I mean, honestly, I'm better off playing this than Madden. But, anyways, Dolphins lead 7-0 going into the second quarter. Here's a third and nine. Feely going to throw to the right side. And off the hands of David Boston. So, the Dolphins got to settle for a 44-yarder. Olindo Mari is going to hook this to the left side. No good. So we catch a huge break there. So we get the ball back. It's the second and 11. McNair going to drop back. He rolls to his left. He's going to throw left side, and he finds Tyrone Calico up to about the 46-yard line. So we're in Dolphins territory now. Second and 10. McNair again going to drop back. He's going to roll to his right. Plenty of real estate in front of him. He's going to get a big first down inside the red zone now as he slides out of bounds. So now this is our best chance of getting the touchdown so far in this game. Eddie George up the middle. Going to pick up five yards. This is going to bring up a second and five and a third and five. Here's McNair. Throws over the middle. Looking for Tyrone Calico. Calico not even trying to locate the ball, however. So now we got to settle for a 31 yarder and Joe Nedney going to make it. So now it's a seven to three ball game. Dolphins get the ball back now. Here's the first and ten. And Feely going to roll to his right. He's looking, and he is going to find Randy McMichael, the tight end. He's going to get all the way down to about the 30-yard line. A big gain on the play for McMichael. So a new set of downs for the Dolphins. Now they face a second and 11. Here's Feely. Going to throw left side, and it's complete. Chris Chambers gets the Dolphins inside the five now. Now they're facing a third and goal. We need to stop right here. And a draw play to Williams, and Lance Schultz brings him down by his face mask. And it's an incidental face mask. Back in the day, incidental face masks were just five yards, so they get another chance regardless. And Feely's going to find a wide open David Boston for the touchdown. So the Dolphins lead 14-3. to 
A few minutes before the two-minute warning, we're going to find Derek Mason gets up to about the 34-yard line for the first down. We're at the two-minute warning now. So first and 10. Here's the pitch to Eddie George. And George is going to take it up the middle, actually, for six yards. That brings up a second and four. McNair alone in the shotgun now. And he's going to drop back. He's going to fire over the middle. He's going to find Aaron Kinney into Dolphins territory. So now we're trying to get into the end zone. That's a third and ten. McNair going to throw over the middle. Incomplete. Looking for Derek Mason, but falls to the ground. We just have to punt it away. Now third and five for the Dolphins. And it's honestly, that should have been intercepted. I mean... A lot of these animations in this game are just really frustrating, but I haven't played this game for a while, so it's going to take a while for me to adjust to it. Here's the third and five. Thrown left side this time, and Dolphin's going to burn a timeout. Trying to get on the board one more time before the half. Feely going to throw right side, and again, Tank Williams should have had that pick right there. But instead of the Dolphins with a first and goal, here's Feely, and he is immediately sacked. I believe that was Kevin Carter on the sack. And they just have to settle for a field goal now. They're out of timeouts. And this time, Mari going to get the field goal. So we trail the Dolphins 17-3 to going into the half. I mean, just not a very good half of football for us at all. But hopefully we'll turn it around here. We get the ball to start the second half. Here's the pitch to Eddie George. George going to take it to the outside. And he fights his way for a nine-yard gain. So now, second and one, we're going to give it to George again. This time, he's going to fumble the football, but luckily, Robert Holcomb, the fullback, able to jump on it. So now, third and inches, we're going to put Chris Brown in the game. He's going to get the first down very easily. Now, a new set of downs, first and ten. Brown's still in the game. He gets the carry. This time, he's going to fumble it, and we're not going to be as lucky as we were last time as the Dolphins dive on it. And now they have the ball in a really good field position. It's a third and 11, however. And Philly goes left side looking for a receiver, but Samari Roll able to break it up. And the Dolphins go three and out, so we get a break there again. So it's our football again. McNair over the middle to Mason for the first down. As we're trying to put something together, get a touchdown on the board. Or at least a field goal, just get something. And we're going to go right side to Mason this time. He gets up to the 45-yard line. Now a new set of downs, first and 10. Here's a handoff to George on the sweep, and George able to pick up five on the play. That's going to bring up a second and five. And now here's McNair in the shotgun. He's going to roll to his left. Looking for Tyrone Calico deep, and... So after that misfortune, now we face a third and five. Here's McNair, gonna roll to his left side, and he's gonna try to throw across his body, but it's batted away. Jason Taylor able to swat it away, and our drive stalls out. Now a second and four for the Dolphins. Ricky Williams gonna get outside, and he's gonna get a pretty good gain there for the first down. I mean, we just can't stop the Dolphins offense at all. Feely gonna roll to his right. He's looking, he's just gonna dump it off. And another first down, this time by Rob Conrad, I believe that was. So a new set of downs for the Dolphins. First and 10. Feely going to go down for the sack. Carlos Hall gets there. And after a false start, it's going to be a second and 20. Throw over the middle, and he's going to get about 11 yards. Not sure who that was, to be honest with you. Now third and nine, last play of the third quarter. Throws left side, and he is going to find Chris Chambers for the first down. That ends the third quarter. Now they face a third and eight in the fourth. And Andre Dyson with a big interception. He's going to try to return this for a touchdown. Can't do it, but he gets brought down by his face mask. And we're going to get into Dolphins territory because of the face mask penalty. But that was a clutch interception by Dyson. Then McNair going to throw. Anyways, Dolphins ball now is a third and 10. Here's a handoff to Williams on the draw. He's going to pick up about three yards. Dolphins go three and out, so we luck out there. But now we got to get into the end zone as they're going to find Kenny over the middle for the first down. We're going no huddle the rest of the game pretty much. First and 10, McNair looking over the middle, and Tyron Calico comes down with it. We're in Dolphins territory yet again, but can we actually do something with the football this time? We'll have to see. 
McNair gonna roll to his right. He's actually gonna run. He's gonna get inside the 30 before he steps out at about the 26. So, we get into the end zone quickly. We have time for one more score to take the OT. McNair gonna be sacked on first down. Loses eight on the play. So, now we're just about out of field goal range. Second and 18, McNair looking for, I believe that was Calico. Yeah, it was Calico. But he drops it. Now it's going to be a third and 18. McNair throws right side. And that honestly should have been intercepted there. Not a very good throw at all. And we pretty much have to go for it at this point at fourth and 18. McNair going to throw left side. Looking for Drew Bennett. And honestly, I think there was pass interference there. that They just decided not to call. But at any rate, Dolphins football on downs. Then uh, third and seven. They try to run for the first down. But Williams can't get there. We have no timeouts at this point, by the way, so we're just going to have to get into the end zone before the two-minute warning now if we want a chance to win this one. But McNair going to go down for another sack. I mean, this offensive line has just been so disappointing so far this game. Second and 18. We're going to go left side, and I don't know if that was tipped or it just went off the hands of Bennett, but regardless, it's incomplete. Uh, third and 18. McNair under pressure, tries to get it away. And he's sacked yet again, so now we're facing a 4th and 27. And there aren't a whole lot of plays that are going to get you a first down here. McNair under pressure, looking for Calico. It hits the ground. Turnover on downs. We have no timeouts, so the Dolphins just nail the ball. And we're going to lose the first game in the series, 17-3. to Neither of us scored in the second half of this game, so our defense definitely played better, but offensively it's just wasn't very good at all between McNair's interception, both George and Brown fumbling. I mean, it was just not a good second half for us offensively at all. I mean, we got into the red zone, I want to say twice in the second half, and we just couldn't do anything with it. So very disappointing. And I mean, obviously part of it is, you know, I haven't played this game for like many years. So part of it was just like forgetting about Madden controls and relearning these controls like, as you saw like my defenders were like jumping everywhere because i would hit the wrong button or whatever it was kind of weird but i'll figure it out i'll get better at the game and hopefully we'll get some wins but anyways make sure you guys hit that like button hit the sub button if you're new and if you guys want to support the channel make sure you pledge to me on patreon and also make sure you guys click on that bell make sure you're part of the notification gang and no matter what happens make sure you keep that mofo rolling i'm out of here guys deuces